A gyroscope is a fascinating mechanical device with a lot of technical applications. You can easily make a gyroscope from a bicycle wheel with a handle through the middle. If you suspend the bicycle wheel from a rope so that its axis is vertical and the wheel is horizontal and then you spin it clockwise as viewed from above, you have applied a force perpendicular to the axis which produces a torque along the axis of the wheel. You can use the right-hand rule to determine that the torque and angular momentum is then pointing downwards along the wheel's axis. The right-hand rule says that if you curl the fingers of your right hand around the spinning axis with your fingers pointing in the direction of the spin, then the thumb will point in the direction of the torque. If you lift the wheel so that it is vertical and then spin it in the clockwise direction, instead of falling down it remains vertical. The torque, which is along the wheel's axis, keeps it vertical. But the wheel also revolves around the axis along which it is suspended by the rope. This is its precession. It is caused by the weight of the wheel producing a torque perpendicular to the wheel's axis but also in a horizontal plane. As you can see from this diagram, there are two torques, one due to the rotation of the wheel and the other due to the weight of the wheel acting perpendicular to each other, the resultant torque producing the precession. Of course, if you spin the wheel in the anti-clockwise direction, the precession is also anti-clockwise, as viewed from above. The wheel does not remain vertical for very long because friction is causing the wheel to slow down and ultimately the wheel's weight overcomes the force causing the wheel to spin and the wheel stops spinning and remains horizontal.